you know, I'm doing these movies because like it's supposed to be like really close to fall and like we're manifesting fall, but you guys don't know that I'm actually filming this in August. It is so hot today. So I don't feel cozy watching Twilight. I hope you guys know this. Welcome back. What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching Twilight New Moon. I haven't seen this movie in at least five, six years. I've watched this maybe two times. The first time when I was like first really getting into Twilight like in middle school, and then another time probably in like late middle school. This is like my least favorite out of the entire franchise. From what I can remember, I just didn't have that much fun with this. And it's because my, you know, our Cullen isn't in this one, really. And he's our lover. If any of y'all are Team Jacob, you could show yourselves out, all right? Get out of here. There's only one true love of Bella's and his name is Edward. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you haven't yet already, so you can stay tuned to all my content. I post three times a week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you guys haven't checked out my gaming channel, it just got monetized. So go ahead over there and binge watch my videos. I enjoy playing video games on Twitch and I just decided to put my VODs on YouTube for those of you guys who aren't on Twitch and want to see that content, it is now available to you. And if you haven't checked out my vlog channel, I have so many exciting things coming up and maybe they've come out already. I don't know when you're going to be seeing this. If you guys want to check out the full length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. That is in fact not a new moon. That is a full moon. Where are you? Bella! Your hair looks so good right now. Oh, this is their meadow. What you doing creeping in the woods back there? Oh yeah, she's dreaming in this, right? Grant, I, I'd like you to- Oh yeah! This is like her looking in a mirror, right? Or something like that? Dang, this girl really wants to be a vampire. Yo, this grandma's doing a great job mimicking Bella. Oh, she even has a ring on the same finger. Oh no! There's no way you would still date her when she's that wrinkly. Actually, Edward would. Edward literally would. He'd be the type. But like, don't do that to Bella. She just wants to be with you forever. Is that a gray hair? Not her actually freaking out about the gray hair. Honestly, though, I thought I'd be the type of girl that'd be like, if I got gray hair, it's not going to be the biggest deal. Like, I'm not going to be so extra and pull it out. And then, to my surprise, my sister found a gray hair on me. And I, when I tell you I flipped out, like something within me, within my soul, boiled up and released itself. And I, like, internally collapsed. And I made her pull it out. And I was like, whoa, I didn't know I was one of those girls. Oh, they're all coupled up now. Kind of adorable. My hot boyfriend rolling in in his Volvo. Why the slow walk? This is where all movie theaters are just... Woo! Yes, Edward! Your birth is definitely something to celebrate. My aging is not. You're aging. You're 18, girl. Relax. I'm 109. Maybe I shouldn't be dating such an old man. It's gross. That's pretty gross. But at least you're legal now. That is weird when you think about it. Someone wants you. Oh. Bella. <laughs> Jacob. I love how he can know. He has literally uh, the biggest radar in his brain. Anyone's thinking anything about about Bella, about his girl, he'll know. I was just buying a part for the uh, rabbit. It's fast. Edward's like, I'm faster. Have you seen these legs run? Better hold on tight, spider monkey. I saw this the other day and thought of you. Catches bad dreams. That's actually kind of really nice. But also, you're doing this in front of my boyfriend. Settle down. Oh, you can everything just by breathing. He's such a romantic. It's suicide. It's nearly impossible for some. Why would you say that? She had to consider it once. <gasps> oh my god, so dark. We're gonna talk about this. What was the plan? Go to Italy and provoke the Volturi. Oh my god, the Volturi. I literally slingshotted into all of the Twilight lore. <gasps> Oh my god, we're about to see Jamie Campbell Bauer! I can't unsee him as Vecna now, but genuinely love him. A detail that I really like, though, is that the, like, vampire corpses don't have, like, blood spilling out of them. Because they're technically not alive. So they're like, kind of like porcelain when they break apart. Which is weird, but I like it. <laughs> Does that make me weird? I don't know. It's time, it's time, it's time. Alice is just here to have a good time. And I respect it. Oh, this is so cute. She set up candles and everything. That is a fire hazard. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh, and he can read Jasper's thoughts. So he knew to push away Bella. Oh, ow, God. Why push her away into more glass where she can literally get more hurt? Like, look at that. Edward, come on. All right, run. <laughs> so dramatic. He went, Edward's pissed off at himself. The thing is, he literally right before, like in the scene before when I'll do anything to protect you. Just for him to be freaking pissed off at himself. That like one little scratch happened to her. I guess it's like the life threatening part, but whatever. I still call bull. You've always been very gracious about us. That's why he won't change me. Imagine the situation in reverse. You believe as Edward does, to take away his soul. Mm. Yeah, honestly, you have to like consider that they're from an older time, which was probably more religious and more like, definitely the stuff is more important to them. Hence why he wanted to marry her before he had sex with her. Like all that jazz is like very consistent to their characters. Can anyone explain to me why he lit the gauze on fire with her blood? Carlisle told me how you feel about your soul. I don't believe that. So don't worry about mine. I get how he like wants to protect her soul too, but at the same time, it is her decision. There's so many like ways to go about this. I understand Edward to an extent and I understand Bella to an extent. I think both of them are being a little bit in their own heads and not trying to understand each other. I guess it's almost like the theme of this one. They love each other so much, but they're not really hearing each other, if that makes sense. God, you like really hate kissing her? Oh, you know what? He's in like so much pain. That's what it is, right? He knows that he's leaving her here, right? Oh, God. <gasps> this is a good little moment here. How she like folded herself out of the picture and she's literally only thinking about her life with Edward. She's literally only thinking about Edward and Edward unfolded it. Wait, do they see each other again? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. He breaks up with her in the woods. We have to leave forks. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I've got to think of something to say to Charlie. Oh, she's not even thinking about staying. She's literally only thinking about going with him. You just don't belong in my world, though. Tragic. Oh, that must hurt. That's actually kind of sad. I belong with you. I don't want you to come. Break her heart, why don't you? This is the last time you'll ever see me. No! You think you're doing the right thing, but you're not. You're just breaking her heart. She literally can't survive without you. She literally gets to west. You're just not good for me. Stop masking it with like what you think she should need to hear so that it makes it easier for her. That's so stupid to me. You're not being honest. I think it's so much better just to be honest with another person when you're breaking up with them or whatever circumstance it is. Even if you're just in an argument or whatever, be honest and don't do that. He's just breaking her heart so that she takes it easier, which is not fair. So dramatic, Edward. Oh my God, it's hitting her like a truck get it she's spiraling as the camera is spiraling bro the camera is so much better in this movie i'm already loving the vibe of this cinematically wise than like the first one who's looking at me is that supposed to be a wolf they did his hair so much better in this one with the wig. Look at that. Why didn't they just do that in the first one? The chief should have been like, why are you shirtless? I also remember this scene. I really like how they show the passing of time by this like camera thing that they did and showing her unchanging state. Like she's mad depressed. Who thought of that? To use like the side of her room. Oh, oh, she's sitting in his seat. God, down bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, so because he says don't be reckless, she's like, I'm gonna be reckless so that Edward comes back because he has to save me and he has to protect me. And I know that he will, kind of. I think I know those guys. Well, they seem great. Can we go? <laughs> Anna Kendrick, delivery 10 out of 10. <laughs> Jessica, you're literally the worst. Go get your friend. I don't care if you're like super close to her or not. You go save that girl. You do not let her get into a stupid situation like this. You promised me as a funeral sister. I don't even know what she said, but I'm assuming it's something along the lines of like, well, you promised that you would like protect me. That was such a rush. You're an adrenaline junkie now? That's cool. You can go bungee jumping. You don't get on the back of some random loser's motorcycle. Yeah, facts. Go bungee jumping. Bungee jumping is actually kind of fun. I thought I would never, ever do bungee jumping. And then I did it, and I instantly regretted all the hatred and repulsion that I had towards bungee jumping, and I would definitely do it again. Bella. Where the hell you been? Where the hell have you been, Loka? <laughs> 
Where the hell have you been, Loka? Bella! Bella! Where the hell have you been, Loka? Be careful, those things are actually really... Yeah, well, I'm really strong. How'd you get them in the truck? In the books, apparently there was supposed to be like a really drastic change with his like body and all of a sudden he's like super like masculine, strong, super good looking too. I don't really like music anymore. You don't like music? Is it because it reminds you of Edward? Because Edward played you one song on the piano and now that if anything is playing, you're like, oh, get that away from me. So the bike building story is true. Yeah, I taught him everything he knows. What about the part where you're his girlfriend? I said she's a girl and a friend. Jacob, you're not that lame to say that Bella's your girlfriend. Did that happen in the books? If that happened in the books, that's way too cheesy. Stephanie Meyer would not do that. Well, I'm really not into the whole cougar thing. What's up with you and age? She's like, I'm, I'm into older guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh no, the nightmares are back! Oh my god, for her to be screaming that loud? I don't think I've ever screamed like that in my sleep. I thought this thing was starting to work, but I guess not. Oh, that's such a good little like moment that like the dream catcher is supposed to like symbolize like Jake and her hanging out with Jake is supposed to like start helping, but probably isn't working as well as she thought it was. You gotta learn to love what's good for you. Are you telling me to go love Jake? Of course, what do I know? I'm just a terminal bachelor. You'll find someone, Charlie, I promise. In like movie, like three or four or five, I'm pretty sure. If I told you I couldn't have fixed these bikes, what would you have said? Maybe if I was smart, I would have dragged out the rebuild a bit. Oh, he's like confessing his love for you, girl. If you told me you couldn't fix these bikes, I would say that we're just gonna have to find something else to do. Oh, no. can you not tell that he's schmitten for you? That's such a far jump. Ember used to call him hall monitors on steroids. Now look at him. What happened to him? Now all of a sudden he started following Sam around like a little puppy. I see what you did there, script. Oh, whoa. That's a cool shot. Put on a helmet. You don't know what you're doing! This makes me so nervous. Ah, she hit a rock! Way to make it look easy, Jacob. God damn. God, you hit your head so hard. Oh my god, I'm sorry. We were apologizing for bleeding. <laughs> She's like, sorry, I've been hanging out with a vampire boyfriend, so I apologize when I bleed. Oh, flex well. Me not being able to talk while a guy is lifting off his shirt. No way your abs are just like that. How many sit-ups do you think he did before that shot? Actors, we all know it. No need to be ashamed. Oh, she's gonna sit with her friends. She's getting there. You can do it. I was just wondering if, if you, you wanted to go uh, see a movie. Uh, You're gonna ask her on a date the second she sits down in the cafeteria. In front of Jessica. She's so not interested in Did you see her eyes? We should get a bunch of people to go. Do you guys want to go see Face Bunch? Oh, she's trying to make it. No, God. She's trying to make it not a date thing. That was so awkward. Also, who would want to see a movie called Face Punch? No way this is a shot right now. Both guys definitely trying to make their hands available to her. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna stop. Mike really can't watch action movies, I guess. You should hold out for someone <laughs> with a stronger stomach. Someone who laughs at the gore that makes weaker men vomit. Oh, don't, no, I hate that. Oh, he tried to hold Bella's hand. No! What? I can't hold your hand? I just think it, you know, means something a little different to you. Oh! Rejecting him right away! Oh, yikes. I'm not gonna give up. I don't want you to. It's just because I don't want you to go anywhere. Oh, at least she's being honest, kind of, like, I need you, but, like, I don't need you in that way. She's like, I don't want you to stop loving me because then you're gonna go, go away, which I don't want you to do. But that sucks because that means I'm kind of stringing you along. I know what he did to you. I won't ever hurt you. He probably believes in himself a lot that he's gonna be able to like make her fall in love with him. But at the same time, I think you're a little too confident. <laughs> She's not gonna change her mind. I need to go home. <laughs> he's calling it quits. He's like, may I go home now, please? <gasps> oh, look at him. He's got a tattoo and he's got short hair now, which means dog. Jay, you cut your hair off? Yeah, I did. It's called shedding. <laughs> but if you want somebody to blame, how about those filthy blood suckers you love? Oh, you know about them? You've been lying to everyone, Charlie. You've been lying to everyone, 
Charlie? Like, I got no one else, bro. Have you seen my friends? They hate me. It's not you. Oh, God, she's heard that one before. I'm not good. Oh, no. She's literally heard that one before. Oh, not again. It's both boys thinking that they can protect Bella. It's not giving her a choice of whether or not she can handle it or not. That's so stupid. Stupid. <gasps> and then she literally goes over the top after that happens, right? Things are bad again. Without Jake, I just... I can't stand it. Okay, you know what? Heartbreak does suck. I get it. First love, heartbreak, like nothing hurts as much as that. My resolution wouldn't be to do exactly what she's doing right now. Oh, the meadow is all dead. She's gonna be like symbolism, but also it's just like the dead of winter probably. So like the foliage is all like dying <laughs> right now. Just visit in like a few months, girl. It'll be okay, I promise. Laurent, what is he doing here? I went to visit the Collins, but the house is empty. Yeah, they moved away. He hates me now. Why are you here? Toria feels it's only fair to kill Edward's mate, given he killed hers. Oh, no. Edward would know who did it, and he'd come after you. How much could you mean to him if he left you here? Oh, mic drop. I bet you he didn't think about that. He didn't think about Victoria. He thought Victoria was gonna come after him, not Bella. Literally just got so called out, Edward, by Laurent. Also, you smell really good, Bella. That's like your whole shtick. She's like accepting her death, what the heck? <gasps> Jacob? Oh no, that's Sam. Isn't the dark coat Sam? I have no idea, to be honest. Oh God, they're huge. Yes, the running effect is so much better now. No more treadmill walking. <gasps> that's Jacob, right? They literally just look like wolves, but like 10 times chonkier and bigger. Yeah, get out of there, Bella. I saw them. They're like huge wolves. Are you sure about that, Bella? Oh, but he knows what she's talking about. Harry? You like going hunting? Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just do uh... <laughs> Harry's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get my guys, my guys. The thing is, if he does get their guys, that's good because then they won't find the wolves. Who's throwing rocks at my window? I'm coming up. He said parkour! She's like, when'd you get these? Can I stare at them a little more? Oh, no. Don't get close to him like that. You know that he's in love with you, girl. Bruh, the amount of stringing along that's happening right now is low-key not okay. Bella, you doing Jacob so dirty. Where are you? How'd you end up on the ground? Oh, she's figuring it out in her dream. Dang, she be dreaming a lot in this one. She's like, I know. Jacob. What did you do? Hey, what did you do what? to him? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh God, he's gonna get super angry. That's like their thing, right? God. I'm here to rescue you, Bella. Don't you worry. I wonder how they shot that. That was cool. He like jumped over her and then transitioned into a wolf and then she's just sitting there. Ooh, God. CGI, not too bad. It's actually really good. If you can do this, what happened to the freaking baby in the last movie? <laughs> the camera knocking over from the fight? That is good camera work. About Emily, Sam's fiance, don't stare. Well, she's gonna stare now. Literally, I wouldn't have stared, but because you said don't stare, all I'm thinking about is staring. So you're the wolf girl. Why would that be your first choice of words, Bella? She hasn't had a lot of human interaction besides Jacob. We'll forgive her on this one. Oh, she misses Edward. Are they back at La Push? You've killed people, Jake. The only thing we do kill, vampires. We took out that leech with the dreads easy enough. Oh yeah, Laurent dies. His redheaded girlfriend is next. Victoria's here. We chased her all the way to the Canadian border the other night. Canadian border? Oh shoot, y'all be running, running. She keeps coming back. We don't know what she's after. Me. The fact that you're not more concerned about Victoria being in town is honestly beyond me. I totally forgot. She probably thought that the werewolves were like the, the animals that were killing the people in the last movie. Cause she obviously knows that the Cullens weren't killing them. But then I don't know why she didn't even think about it being Victoria and James because they were like literally there and told the Cullens during the baseball game that they were covering up the kills. Don't worry about it. Inconsistencies movie, I don't like it. Until I'm alone. Dang, the passing of time shots are great. Did you see that little like 
lighting thing that happened oh yeah this is like the stupidest thing she jumps off that cliff go you can literally die you're not a werewolf victoria i can't wait for eclipse that was my favorite one they recasted her though which is kind of crazy that shot is so cool yo what camera work 10 out of 10 i don't think this is a good idea bella oh she jumps off the cliff too oh yeah oh my god i literally remember what happens oh it's all clicking back not bella going back into her reckless states because she wants to see edward don't do this you won't stay with me any other way oh because she all she wants is that one second of her dreaming and en envisioning edward Oh, God, so dumb. Ladies, do not do this. Actually, no one is as stupid as Bella, I guess. You're not a werewolf. You can't withstand these waves. It just so happens that moments before her literal murderer dove into the water and now can probably smell her. Actually, I don't know. Can you smell someone underwater? Probably not. Maybe a vampire can. Well, she about to murder you, dude. Oh, Jacob came in time. <laughs> That is not how you do chest compressions. Have you seen Dr. Mike? Oh, Victoria's just chilling in the water. 108 degrees over here. That's true. He's just naturally so much warmer, which is so funny. He's literally the polar opposite of Edward. I feel like I'm gonna disappear. You're not gonna lose yourself. Lose yourself in the moment you own it and go. You only got one shot. <laughs> this is the second time that that has come up in a commentary in this month. Are they gonna kiss? And she rejected you. She still doesn't love you. How does that make you feel? See, she loves you, but not that way. That's Carlisle's car. Stop. You gotta come with me. You're about to cross a line. Then don't draw one. Oh, that's a good line. Then don't draw one. Yeah, don't make her, like, choose between Collins and you. Jeez. Oh, my God. Alice. God damn it. Why are you like that? You like to explain to me how you're alive? She saw her jump off the cliff. You jumped off a cliff. It was fun. It was totally rad. Did you tell him? No. But he can read her thoughts. What is that god-awful wet dog smell? It's my friend Jacob. Jacob's kind of a werewolf. Werewolves are not good company to keep. Speak for yourself. Well, both of you guys suck. Actually, one of you guys suck. <laughs> I'm just on it today. I can't see past you and your pack of mutts. Don't get me upset. Things stop, are gonna get stop, very stop, ugly. Stop, stop. <laughs> Taylor, you could have delivered that line a little bit better. Things are about to get very ugly. <laughs> Alice is a homie for coming back. Well, are the rest coming back? Yikes. Touchy subject! Oh my god, are you gonna kiss me? He's not here right now. He's arranging a funeral. Edward called! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I remember! He thinks Bella's dead! He thinks Bella's dead! Dude, I remember in the books reading this and being like so frustrated. Bella, it's Edward. He thinks you're dead. He's going to the Volturi. Oh no, he's pulling off a Romeo, our poor little Edward. What about your dad? I'm 18. I'm legally free to go on my list of milk. <laughs> what about your dad? I'm 18. I can go whenever I want. Fine, don't call your dad, I guess. All good. Dear Charlie, I'm off to Italy. See you in a few days. Bella. He's gonna be like, what the F? Oh god, oh god, oh god, Edward. Why? Why wouldn't you confirm that she's dead? So you've made up your mind. I'm afraid your particular gifts are too valuable to destroy. Oh yeah, they don't want to kill him because they want him to be a part of the Volturi. Because he can read people's minds. You know what will happen anyway. Not without cause. Oh, and so he's like, I'll make cause, right? And that's why he wants to like expose himself to a bunch of people. He's gonna make a scene show himself to the humans he's gonna wait until noon when the sun's at its highest i thought it was at like three is that when the sun is at its highest why are they all in red they're commemorating the expulsion of vampires from the city everyone's gonna be like where's your red robe so not festive Psh, this girl why does that clock actually look fake that can't be real oh no i would scream his name but also you probably don't want to scream his name because then people would see you right he looks depressed he looks like he hasn't eaten in days i was gonna say he looks pale but obviously he looks pale bella doing the most coming all the way to italy just to to save him get out of the sun get out of the sun get out of the sun you gotta admit it's cute guys you had to know that i was alive you didn't have to feel guilty about anything 
I can let you go now. Oh, she still thinks that he doesn't want her! You believe me so easily. Because it doesn't make sense for you to love me. Oh, I didn't even think about that! No way, this is hitting me right now. Their love story is so much more believable in this one than the first one. That line just made that entire, like, made this entire movie. Her being like, I didn't feel like I deserved it. It doesn't make sense for you to love me. Oh my god. Why is that actually good? Hi, Dakota. This actor. Such a good actor. What's his name? Michael Sheen! Michael Sheen, such a good actor. I love him. Would you do me the honor? Isn't that crazy? One touch and he can like read your mind and all your insides and outs and he knows everything and anything about you. I see nothing. Oh, he can't read her. Just like with Edward. Let us see if she is immune to all our power. Oh god. Oh. <gasps> hey. ooh, 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 ooh. That's a goaded power, not gonna lie. Literally OP. How she's not in the head seat is pretty mind-boggling to me. This may hurt just a little. Just a little. Is something supposed to hurt because I don't feel nothing? She's a liability. Yeah, Vecna? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> Felix. Please don't kill me. Yo, this is kind of cool. I like how they do the fast effects and then also like slows it down. Oh, no, please, please. <laughs> Cast me as Bella Swan. Bella will be one of us. I've seen it. You have? He's like, let me double check to make sure. Your gift will make for an intriguing immortal. Goodbye, my young friend. Bye. Later. Say something. They're gonna eat all of them. There's kids in there. That's literally terrifying. I'm never going on a tour ever again. Oh, she's still getting her nightmares, except this time my boyfriend's here. This will be your only wake up. Why is this Loki so cute? I hate that I still love this. Leaving you was the hardest thing I've done in a hundred years. Not 109? I don't have to worry. Yeah, last time you said that, you took off. I didn't see you for three days. You didn't know? I'm 18. I have the legal right to just leave. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I live without you. Yeah, clearly. You're about to die because of me. Also, the fact that she's able to, like, forgive him so fast. Like, that's how you know. It's literally, like, their entire being is just unconditional love for one another. She's like, bro, just don't leave again. You stay the hell out of my head. I know you have something to say to me. Right after he says to stay out of his head, too. He's like, I already know what you're gonna say to me. I'm here to remind you about a key point in the treaty. If any of them bites a human, the truce is over. Yeah, yo, this is so complicated. What if he bites me, like, not here? Like, what if we just go across the border and then he bites me, you know? Don't make me choose. It's always been him. That's true. She did tell you at the movie theater, but she's still asking you to be her friend, which is so selfish. <laughs> Woo! Poor Jacob is all heartbroken. Uh, why is he kind of cute as a CGI wolf, though? From now on, I'm Switzerland. <laughs> Wrong movie, I know. Oh, God, not the eye reflection. That was so bad. I usually love eye reflections, but that was just not good. He's right. You shouldn't become what I am. Yeah, that's the tragic part, is that, like, Edward is on Jacob's side, low-key. Just give me five years. What are you waiting for? He wants to marry you, you idiot. It's kind of cute though, not gonna lie. He's so old school. You old school, Edward. Marry me, Bella. <laughs> she's like 18. She's like, what the F? But at the same time, she's so in love with you and she's like, that's the condition? <laughs> Duh. If we're gonna be together forever, I mean, I guess. This was so much better than I remembered. I don't know why I thought like, eh, New Moon, I can skip it. Probably because there's like no Edward Bella moments, but I think this was actually crucial for the foundation of the rest of their relationship because without getting this conflict out of the way they wouldn't have lasted you know what i mean like if this doesn't happen then we think them getting married and them like bella turning into vampire is like so ridiculous but now we have a glimpse an inkling of like how they actually feel about each other it's like almost tragic how much they love each other and it's like literally suffocating and like they can't bear it it was beautifully written i think it was really good the camera work is actually so much better than i remember it too i guess back then i didn't really i didn't have an interest in what the camera was doing i was just kind of watching for the story plot and like for a movie but 
as more of like a movie nerd now, I really actually enjoyed the camera way better than the first one and the pacing was really good. Not a bad movie at all. And I think maybe it's because I'm older now that I kind of understand the conflict a little bit more and I understand like the script a little bit more, if that makes sense. Because what did I know in middle school about love? Like all I thought was like, whoa, vampires, werewolves. But no, like actually like watching this, I'm just like, I actually kind of get what's happening and I understand to a certain extent, like this is obviously so dramatized it's a lot but at the same time it's a movie about vampires so i loved also the moment that alice kind of comes back and the reaction that that kristen stewart gave i think she really does show the pain that bellas kind of suffers in this one and the literal joy that she exerts when she sees Alice. Not even joy, just that anticipation of like, where's Edward? It's there in her eyes. I don't know why people bashed on Christian Stewart in the Twilight series, because that was actually really good. Not bad, New Moon, you surprised me. <laughs> What do you guys think about this movie? Is this also your least favorite in the series? Did you like go into this without having read the books? What did you think about that afterwards? Like without having any context of the book, what is your idea of their relationship and their romance? Is it believable? Do you understand what the characters are feeling? If you guys are book fans, what did you like about this film? What didn't you like about this film? I wanna know all your opinions. Put them down in the comments down below so I can read them. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already, so stay tuned to all my content. And don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to check out the full-length commentary to this movie, make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movies slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all. Have the best day ever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye!